Hey guys, so I picked up this new air hose. It's uh, air hose reel with 30 foot hose. Now the 30 foot hose is kind of nice. That would cost you about 20 bucks. The whole thing was 35 bucks. The hose is 250 PSI, which is great. It's 3 8 which means you get more air in the line. It's got a 3 8 inch hose, and the reason you want that bigger hose, even though the ends are a quarter, it keeps more air supply in the hose, so provides more pressure and available air. The key thing is available air. So it's hand crank. I thought that was a lot for 35, but I paid 15 for the manual with the bars. I still use it, but I needed another hose to reach from the air compressor into the very far end of the house to put down new baseboards. So I went and bought this, thought it was a good deal. Been wanting one of these for a while, just to check out how they work. The mount on the wall, you should use heavier lag screws, maybe quarter inch lag screws, make sure this thing never comes down. And I just put uh, one of the red tips. You have to treat this as being in the middle of your line. So this piece goes on the supply end, so that this end, can connect to the next tool. So you don't want to get those backwards or you have problems, you have to have a hose with an adapter on it. Definitely didn't want that. I ran out of the red industrial ends, so I had to use the automotive end. Uh, I'll have to pick up some more of the red industrial. Harbor Freight uses a color code, red for industrial, blue for automotive. Brass, you kind of assume is automotive. Steel, you kind of assume is automotive, unless it's labeled industrial, which now the reason industrial is a little bit better is it has more bearings to hold in the hoses, so you get a little less leakage, and it's made to a slightly better tolerance. I think they're worth it. Okay, so basically this mounts on the wall, and you take the hand crank and turn it around. Now the auto retract ones are nice, but they're like double the price, and I'm not sure that was worth it to me. I'm not so lazy I can't roll up my hose, right? So the handle goes like this. Now, if you want it to mount correctly, which is with the handle pointing straight out at 90 degrees to the reel, you have to mount it correctly. These two, these two screws are spaced further apart than these two or these two. So it only fits one way correctly. So hold it in correctly. But, uh, they want the bolts from the inside, so you put the head in this side, washer, threaded nylon insert, and you can put that on a little bit just to hold it, and then you're going to have to get a screwdriver and some type of uh, pair of pliers to hold that. Happen to have my 20 volt bower lithium. Not the brushless one, the regular one. And I really like the six inch, like these six inch bits. I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers. With the threaded inserts, you just need to tighten them up. You don't have to over tighten them. They should not come loose. I got the torque set very low on that. Okay, so let's give it a shot. And you see that that's going to climb up on itself. And the neater you are to make this go side by side as you go, the better it's going to fit on the reel. I wouldn't get real fanatical about it, but this would this is a lot easier if you actually have this mounted, but I wanted to show it on the bench, not on the wall. Can't see as much detail on the wall, so let's go and straighten that up. I'm not sure I really care because it's got plenty of room. Like I said, this would show a lot better. And see how that's kinked? Let's keep straightening that out. I 
lighting in here isn't great tonight either. Although nothing's turned off. Now I'm doing this backwards with using this instead of this because of how I want to show. And how you keep it in place is there's this release. If you pull it out, turn it sideways, it'll lock the spool. And to keep it running, you pull it out and turn it sideways so it's not in the slit, and this will turn freely. It's a pretty basic part, to be honest with you. This is right-handed to me, so it's a little awkward because I've got to reach across this and block the view. That's why I was doing it by my hand. If you're left-handed, you can reverse this, and when you first put the hose on, have it go the other way, and it'll work. So you can use this with your left hand. Or just always do it backwards, but I would redo the direction of the hose. Part number is 40131. I really like this. Uh, I used it to go through the main part of the house. And it worked fine. Exactly like an air hose should work. This works fine if you do it as a right-handed person, the way I have it wound. I like it better than the other one that I have. The other one has like fingers that come out on each side that hold in the hose. It's a little more awkward to use than this one. So this was worth the extra money and it gives me more options. I have the older one on one side of the garage door. I'll put this one on the other side of the garage door and it just gives me more options. I don't use this in my woodworking area. I use it when I go to work on the cars or I need an air tool to work outside. Uh, in the shop here, I have an air hose that comes over here, and it typically doesn't need to move around that much. This is my main work area. This is where I use it. I don't have to pull and then pull. So, okay, so it's a very simple product, and it works pretty good. It's, so it's plate steel, pretty heavy gauge plate steel. I don't think there would be many problems with this, uh, as heavy gauge as it is, but you never know. I don't anticipate having problems. Okay, so if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.